Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Alexander Shalimov. I'm from Russia. Um, I'm faculty at Moscow State University and uh, researcher, lead researcher at Applied Research Center in Computer Networks. Uh, basically, uh, it's a nonprofit organization that works on the problem in area of uh, network function utilization and software defined networking. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about our experience and our work on accelerating Copeland stack neutron in five times. Uh, let's start. Okay, uh, this is very a uh, stupid slide. Uh, I'm going a little bit about OpenStack. So OpenStack is uh, something like a framework for creating public and private cloud. Uh, basically you can create virtual machines, uh, connect them and uh, combine it and create virtual topology or virtual network. Uh, basically, uh, uh, for creating a virtual net network uh, uh, is responsible Neutron. Uh, basically, a Neutron is like API. It's nice API to create virtual topology, but uh, the actual stuff uh, relies on plugins. Uh, the most important and the most popular plugin is uh, OpenVSwitch. Uh, open with switch itself is a virtual soft, uh, software switch uh, produced by Nasira. It uh, has a lot of functionality. It's configurable, programmable from OpenFlow. It supports a lot of protocols. Uh, basically, the Open with switch plugin supports three operational modes. Uh, first is flat. Uh, it means that there is no virtual network per tenant at all. Uh, the second one is VLAN. It means that each uh, virtual network uh, has its own VLAN tag. Uh, this is uh, okay, but uh, VLAN tags is only for, hung, uh, for thousands. Uh, and basically you have to support from Ethernet fabric. Uh, the next one is the most popular one is GRE, uh, is GRE uh, mode. Uh, when uh, the virtual machine uh, basically connects to each other with, uh, connects to each other with a uh, um, uh, set of uh, overlay tunnels, jury tunnels. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the last one mode is most popular. You can use any Ethernet fabric uh, as you wish. Uh, it supports a lot of virtual networks, but problems that everyone knows that it's uh, pretty slow and scalability is bad. Uh, we try to understand why it happened. Uh, let's take a look on uh, architecture of uh, compute node. And, uh, basically, there are two uh, OBS uh, bridges uh, connected uh, with patch ports. Uh, the first bridge uh, called an internal or integrational. Uh, it's responsible to, uh, to route traffic between two virtual machines. Uh, if you would like to send traffic, uh, if you would like to uh, connect two virtual machines from different compute nodes, uh, you should use external uh, bridge. Uh, the packet goes to internal bridge. Uh, there is no uh, appropriate rule. It's go to external, go to GRE tunnel, and go to appropriate dedicated uh, Ethernet adapter. Uh, we try to understand uh, what is slow. Uh, the obvious uh, stuff, uh, the obvious side is okay. So we, we lose only 10% of performance that we might get uh, if we directly send packet to virtual machines. Uh, the something happen uh, between uh, GRE port and Ethernet adapter. Uh, let's take a look to what uh, happens here. Uh, uh, what is here? Uh, here is a Linux networking stack. Uh, what we know about it, it's uh, that it's very high, it's uh, very heavy layered, it's a lot of allocation, it's low. Uh, but uh, even uh, the packet uh, will go from the GV port to net uh, networking card, not straight as I draw before, it uh, will be something like, uh, like made snake. Uh, it's something like that. Uh, uh, the next, uh, we understand what we measure, that performance, we know the performance of Linux networking stack. It's something between uh, 300 million packets per second, or like, uh, thousand packets per second. Uh, but uh, the, our performance, it's even slower. Uh, we try to understand why. 
uh, in the problem uh, is inside uh, GRE implementation of uh, or inside the OVS. How uh, OVS creates the GRE packets, encapsulate GRE packets. Uh, the open with switch uh, lays uh, finishing the, the full encapsulation to Linux networking stack. Basically, uh, the, old, the GRE port inside OVS only add uh, very small GRE header. And the other stuff, the other headers like L2 and 3 headers uh, should find out uh, Linux networking stack. Uh, Linux networking stack try to read uh, ARP tables, uh, row tables, and uh, figure out uh, the rest of the header. Uh, this is why the GRE setup is really slow. Uh, what we can do? Uh, there are two lessons. The first is Linux networking stack is uh, slow itself, and the problem of GRE uh, implementation in OVS is that it relies on Linux networking stack. Uh, the common ways, if you don't need to very complicated networking stack, you can use a very fast uh, data pass, fast networking stack. For example, Intel DPDK on NetMap. Uh, moreover, uh, in order to use uh, FastPass, you have to integrate the OpenV switch uh, with it. Uh, currently, uh, there is an open source project that called Intel DPDK vSwitch. Uh, basically, it's uh, OVS uh, daemon connected to DPDK-based data pass. Uh, and basically, it's 10 times it's faster than original uh, OVS. Uh, but in order to use in all the stack setup, you have to support, uh, you have to add uh, additional functionality. Uh, the simplest one is the patch course, the second one is the multiple data pass bridges. But uh, what we have to implement the jury stack uh, also. It's a very interesting question. Uh, it's basically because the DPDK data pass uh, resides in user space, it's not kernel space. So it means that we couldn't use ARP and uh, row table. Uh, so this means that we should fully implement uh, GRE supports inside the GRE ports. Uh, what should we do inside the GRE port, our GRE ports? We should deter determine local IP. Uh, this is not a big deal because we could uh, specify the bus remote and local IP uh, when we set up GRE ports. Uh, the next one is so what we should we do with MAC addresses. Uh, it's a big problem uh, because it's, we couldn't calculate it dynamically, or we couldn't calculate it before. So we should maintain our own ARP table inside. Uh, the next problem is that we should somehow support row table. Uh, and this is uh, how we do this. We encode a row table inside the flow table. In the encapsulated packet, when uh, it turns back to data pass. Uh, let's uh, take closer. Uh, this on the left side is the original uh, GE port architecture. Uh, when the packet uh, goes from virtual machine, it's much, much against flow table, uh, then goes to GRE port, then put to Linux networking stack, it somehow uh, found the right networking card adapter and goes uh, to another compute node. In our architecture, the packets goes to flow table. Oh, something happened. Okay, uh, much against flow table, uh, goes to GRE ports. Inside GRE ports, we fully uh, we add uh, additional headers and send packets back to the data pass and much again against flow table. Uh, this uh, flow entry uh, says to which networking adapter should we send this packet. Uh, basically, uh, that's it. Uh, this is a big difference. Uh, and this has allowed us to get uh, five times uh, more performance. Uh, this is uh, something details in our, in our performance evaluation. Uh, the most interesting part for OpenStack deployment is the last line. It's physical, uh, physical uh, port to VM port. Uh, here, here it is. So uh, we finally get even more performance. But this is a very important question. That if you use the PDK open with switch, uh, you can use additional uh, 
ways to create uh, to set up a virtual machine to connect virtual virtual machines to OBS. Basically, if you still use uh, the original uh, KVM uh, setup, uh, you will able to put uh, 0.1 millions packet per second. Uh, this is basically that's it. Uh, the code is available on our GitHub. If you have any questions. No, 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 uh, only a jury, okay. only jury. So, but we have some uh, questions from our customers in the sports. Excellent too, but not yet.